Marking 75th year of independence, Astro is launching Azadi Sat, the satellite carrying 75 payloads, which has been built by 750 girl students. It's the first satellite to launch, which has been built by girl students. It is also Astro's smallest satellite to unfurl tricolor in space. The satellite is going to be launched by India's newest rocket, small satellite launch vehicle. Developmental Flight 1. Girls from 68 schools in rural area were trained to build the satellite under ISRO Space Kit India program. The satellite is going to be launched at 9.18 a.m. this morning. Them who are among the 750 odd girl students who are part of this whole initiative where they made this Asadi Sat, and this will be launched along with uh, uh, the main. SSLV D1, which is going to be launched, that is going to be ISRO's maiden SSLV. And it needs to be remembered that it's just 120 ton and it can almost carry 500 kgs of uh, things. So it's going to be a huge launch. And for ISRO, this maiden satellite will mean a lot. And that too, they will be unfurling a tricolor flag as well in the space. So a global opportunity, a golden opportunity for India also. And at this juncture on the 75th Independence Day time, we're seeing that around 750 young girls will be representing their different states in the country during this launch. What best could it be, you know, in this year of uh, 75th Indian Independence? So we thought like, you know, just picking up 75 students and, uh, you know, making a payload is not a great idea. Why not bring in the entire country? Because it's Azadi. Independence is from the entire country. So we feel that. So uh, picked up, uh, I thought like, you know, let's uh, involve Jammu Kashmir se leke Kanyakumari. This was called uh, KNK project. And uh, we started off from there. So that was a seed a year or a year and a half before it started brewing and uh, thankfully today we are here. It indeed was difficult but this is a golden and rare opportunity which not everyone gets and since we got this opportunity we are very lucky and we consider ourselves as you know we are really pre pleasure that we got this chance. So I would really like to thank the government of India and to our whole team. So we were really highly excited and elated when we got to know about this project so we really are optimistic about the launch. We are all are very grateful to Mr. Prime Minister that he gave us such an opportunity that all the girls are able to get hand-on experience on uh, making miniature satellite. I am very thankful to Kaysen Ma'am, Neeti Ayog and ISRO for giving us this opportunity. So you know, creating scientists as young as possible and, uh, and bringing space closer to them, uh, easily and accessible to everyone is the mission and the vision for the Space Kids India and I am really proud and happy to be a part of it. Chennai is now joining us from Chennai. Akshaya, the entire nation is waiting to meet the space kids uh, and uh, we believe just uh, an hour left uh, for that particular launch. Bring us up to speed with the latest developments. Well, Chethi, this is going to be ISRO's pride as well because this is the smallest uh, space vehicle uh, satellite that is being launched by uh, ISRO also. This is called the SSLV D1 and we need to remember that this is just 120 ton and only 37 meters uh, tall. That is going to be the smallest vehicle that has been launched by ISRO so far. So it's going to be a huge event for ISRO also. Uh, it's a liquid proponent uh, vehicle and it will have a payload capacity of around 500 kgs which also means uh, that you know right now they're carrying only two satellites along. Uh, one is an Earth observation satellite and the second one is Azadi Sat which is developed by those 750 girls uh, from across the country and it was a moment of pride for them uh, Cheti uh, because you know all these girls would not have dreamt about this opportunity unless and until Space Kid uh, made it possible for them and each of these girls who are participating have had a major chunk of contribution to it and interestingly even juvenile girls were also made to participate in it so it's going to be a huge event for these seven 50 year, uh, young girls and they all attribute this to Prime Minister Narendra Modi because he had given them the opportunity. In fact, uh, one month back on the 10th of June when he was in Gujarat, he had met the team of Space Kids uh, and even uh, heard the uh, entire prototypes uh, explanation and he even uh, spoke to the representatives which included girls also. So today will be a huge event on the occasion of the 75th Independence Day celebration. We're seeing that this uh, satellite, the small vehicle satellite will be launched uh, from the Satish Dhawan 
Space Center, which is there in Srihari Kota, and it will be launched at 9:18 a.m. Already six hours prior, the countdown has started, JP. Well, the countdown has surely begun. A little about all these kids who have worked really hard, and what are their expectations now? I'm sure they must be super excited about this. Well, Chetty, when we spoke to those uh, children, they were super excited because, you know, this is one of the biggest opportunities, biggest dreams in their life. Uh, never have they even imagined that they will be able to do uh, something like this at this tender age. And all of them are between the age group of 14 to uh, 17. And they have almost uh, 600 odd children have come uh, to uh, Tamil Nadu to go to Sri Harikota. And when we interacted with them, they were super excited, super happy. They were like, uh, you know, this is their life's dream. And never had they imagined that this can happen at this place. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was a long process, Chethi. We need to remember that these children were involved in proper training about satellite, about space, about rocket. And even they were involved in learning about the coding, uh, which was required to assemble these uh, parts into that small satellite, the Azadi Sat, uh, which they have now developed. It's an 8 kg satellite and, uh, you know, we even got to an opportunity to look at the engineering model of it. Uh, so it was a very interesting site and these children from different parts of the country were even able to interact with one another and we could see the camaraderie ship that was uh, developing between them. And this is also the way in which, you know, Modi Sarkar has been talking about empowering women, empowering girl children, educating them. So, you know, it's a huge step that has been taken and done uh, for this process and Niti Aayog was also involved in this whole process and we see we saw how Space Kids India, uh, the main uh, initiative uh, programmer for bringing all these kids together uh, was also talking to us about how uh, even though there were a lot of financial crunches uh, to make sure that this satellite uh, comes together, uh, there were so many well-wishers and entrepreneurs who came with a helping hand. So it's a big opportunity for these girls, they're extremely excited and elated and happy uh, that you know they're able to launch their own vehicle at this tender age.